that. <laughs> With Bloodsport, we're raising the stakes of gaming by making it so that when you lose blood in the game, you lose it in real life as well. With our other projects like Shoot the Banker, Surrogate, and Prank House, we took the real world and brought it into the digital space. Now, we're taking the consequences of the gaming world and having them affect you in real life. Don't worry. I won't feel that just a little mosquito. All we're doing is taking the electrical signal from the controller every time it rumbles and using it to turn on the blood collection system. We use an Arduino board between the two systems to regulate how much blood is actually being pulled every time you get hit. As you play, all the blood filters into sterilized collection bags, the kind you'd see at your local blood bank. <laughs> Our goal is to take blood sport to clinics across the country so you can take part in blood donation gaming events. With Canada's shortage in the blood supply, don't wait for Bloodsport to come out. Grab your buddies, go down to your local donor clinic, and see who gets dizzy first. <laughs>